From the Tsumeb Man in Namibia, um, what appears to be a, a matrix of, of maybe dolomite, uh, crystallizing on top here, I think we may be looking at some villamite. Have a look at the slight bluish color, bluish to grayish color. But I will look at closer crystallizations. Perched inside that little corner seems to be some sericite. This is a pretty accurate indication of the actual specimen. Lovely shades of color going from a sort of a green uh, to, a, to a, a sort of a sea green on the top section, which would most likely be some villamite. Size-wise, not very large. I think uh, in, in, in uh, more technical terms, we're looking at uh, miniature would be the size. So dimension here would be just under two inches edge to edge. Across, maybe just over an inch. Height-wise, or oh, maybe just over an inch too. All the way from the Tsumeb Man Namibia. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if we can get a little bit closer in this, into this section over here. You see, I suspect that we're looking at Villamite there. And then these green, this green crystallization could be the likes of Duftite, Motramite, um, maybe some conicalcite. I think in this case, most likely Motramite. And then that crystallization in these little vugs, I think, would be some sericites, which were quite abundant at the Tsumeb mine. But a very interesting site uh, nonetheless. And uh, among collectors, uh, very sought after because... Uh, 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 the, the the variety of minerals which occur and and what's interesting often uh, some minerals wouldn't crystallize with others like you wouldn't have typically diaptase and azurite on the same specimen from most deposits because that doesn't usually happen in in chemistry and you have a lot of aberrations in Sumeb. 